guys, down in the goat there. In this video, uh, we're gonna take a look at one of the false reef entries I did at the recent ADCC trials. Uh, it's a small detail that helped a lot. Um, it actually counters the counter I liked before this counter to do the most. So let's take a look at a, a basic false reef first. We're here, we hug around the leg, draw our leg over, spin underneath, clear the foot, and then you can start attacking heels from there, or foot loops, of course. So what happens a lot? Let's say bar tricep on the false reef on me. Here, what I like to do is I push the leg down a little bit and then pummel my foot behind me. That's gonna be hard for Bart to invert. Here he gets stuck. There's even some nice counters I can do from here to uh, set up my own attacks. Like this. Okay, so I come and counter people, one more than foot. There we go. And look how Bart almost his foot behind my here. Now I get pretty much stuck. It's really hard to, to work from here. But look what happened. Bart's legs are super close together now. Whenever that happens, you can go into, um, like normally I would go into wrestle-ups when, when I see the knees close together like this, going for a double leg. But in this case, we're gonna hug around the legs and we're still gonna go for uh, a leg attack. So I'm gonna go with my hands through and I lock both of his legs. Now we squeeze together like a, like a mermaid, right? His feet are super close together. He doesn't have any balance. From here I can bump him, I clear the feet and I'm straight into a belly down for his Okay, let's take a look at that it again. It's very common counter against the, the false reef is people pummeling their foot behind here. And if I don't know what to do, Bart actually has some, some nasty counters where he can pick up my own leg and start uh, attacking it, right? So as soon as I see him pummel the foot behind, look, I connect my hands, bringing his knees together. Now he loses all the balance, just like the, the standard mermaid sweep from, uh, from close guard, same concept. If the feet are really close together, there's not a lot he can do. I bump him forward, no balance, and now I clear and very close flush. From here, um, if you watch the ACC trials, my partner tried to spin, I tried to go for the hill, but he still was losing, and then I should finish the straight foot up from there. If I would have stayed with the heel hook, he would be able to spin out. So, watch spins, exactly clears the, the line. Yeah, or that. So, what I do instead is I go for the straight foot look, where I have a lot more control. So let's take a look at it again. We go over, our thumb is foot. Perfect, exactly what I want. Bring the legs together, bump and move balance. Chop down into cross ashi. As he spins, I don't go for the heel hook, because in the heel hook, I don't have a lot of control. The board posts on my knee, uh, with your hand, and spins out. I lose the position, maybe get my back taken. Whereas with the foot lock, I actually have a lot of control. So, we're here, bum, he pummels, lock it in, dump him on the ground. Here, try to go for the heel, but instead we finish the belly down foot where there's a lot of pressure here. And we get the tap. Okay, so a nice detail you can add to your false reap game. If you already do false reaps, I know this is a problem I, uh, I find quite difficult to deal with when the people palm on their leg, but it gives you the opportunity to hug both of them, get your partner out of balance, and from there you can chase the heel, or uh, what I like to do, attack a straight foot look as well. Now let's take a look at how I use this in a, in a competition. So I use the same false reap entry, my partner or my opponent pummels his foot behind, then I can drop him, go straight into straight foot look. So let's take a look at that. Okay, let's take a look at one of the matches at the ATCC trial. So this is where I use the false reap in combination with that cross ashi entry um, and with a straight foot look. So here I'm already trying to get the false reap, but, but my opponent manages to sit down and look what he does with his foot here. He's gonna Pommel the foot inside. So as we go, look how he pummeled the foot in. Now he's relatively safe from the false reap, but he's opening himself to my counter. I keep working to get my leg through, even though he already uh, killed kind of the position, but then I lock my hands around his legs. That he pummeled the foot behind my leg, here, gave me the chance to bring his knees together. Whenever you bring somebody's knees together, it's super hard to keep standing. Even this guy has a super good base, I managed to drop him just enough to get my knee out, entering the cross ashi. Here, so now I have a good leg entanglement on him. First thing I look for is actually the heel hook, so I don't go straight for the foot lock. I try to go for the heel hook, but look how I miss. He hides his heel, straightening his foot, making it very hard to get the heel hook, but that's the perfect opportunity to go for the straight foot lock. My hand goes through, locking in the straight foot lock, and because we have that straight foot lock, it's also gonna be a lot harder for him to spin out. 
straight foot look gives a lot better control than the heel hook. So my opponent tries to spin and pull out as well at the same time. But because of the foot lock around his leg, it's super hard to do that. We keep spinning and here, as I'm belly down, I can get a bend in the foot and get the finish. Let's take a look at that sequence again. So we're here, I'm already working for the false reap, but my opponent manages to pummel his foot inside. Great defense, great counter, but when they pummel the foot inside, I can kill, still go for the false reap, and now his knees are super close together. So I lock my hands, drop him to the ground, use that off balance to get my knee behind, and there we can attack the heel hook, or in this case, because he hides his foot really well, we go for the straight foot lock. All right, guys, so th there you see it also works in, in competitions. That's just something I made up. Um, if you like this kind of concept, make sure to check out my upcoming instructional. If it's out already, I'll leave a link in the description. If it's not out, you have to wait a little bit more, uh, but there I go really deep into all these entries, all these concepts about using straight foot looks to control and to finish uh, in positions most people would go for a heel. So make sure to check that out. Uh, I'll leave all the info in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, most of you should be subscribed already. And I'll see you guys next time.